Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a fine spirit from Game of Thrones. Well, this is one of the last ones, probably the last or second to last. So it's one after the series of those seven bottles we've seen of the Game of Thrones series. I have seen one series, just enough for me. Uh, so you're the specialist in... Uh, the series and you're a specialist in Mark Luck because you have been there one and a half months ago. Okay, so, so do you know the, yeah, the, the crow? It's a crow or a raven? A raven, raven, not crow. Uh -huh. Yeah, crow is the other ones. You know nothing. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's uh, it's for the six kingdoms. So this is kind of the, the rounding off. So this brings it all together. And I'm not quite sure why the Raven is there for the Six Kingdoms. Maybe in honor of, uh, what was his name? Brandon Stark, uh, who, who is kind of the three-eyed Raven and also the king in the end. So, um, but something like that. It rounds off the, the, uh, the series in the end. Yeah. Um, they chose uh, a Mordlock. Yeah, Mordlock had been one of the f bottlings, the initial bottlings of the... Uh, flora and Fauna series of the proprietor of the distillery and there we've seen a 15 year old which was there for a long long time and then they started a Mordlack uh, distillery edition with three bottles and they were incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, then they <laughs> recognized that they're selling close to nothing and then they uh, seized that series and brought out a new one mm -hmm. which was a lot better priced and r really good stuff in it. And the middle of that is a 16 year old. There's a young one and a 20 year old and I think a 26 year old now. And this is a 15 year old in the middle. So this is, I think from the Flora Fauna series, the actual series, and now this bottling, uh, that this is one of the, well, the ages where Mortlock matures very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mortlock is actually, Mortlock was named after the town Mortlock, um, but the distillery is situated in Dufftown. So um, actually Mortlock, as the Mortlock distillery, is older than Dufftown. They later, when it became bigger, named it Dufftown. So a few houses in Dufftown probably still stand there where the village of Mortlock but I think it was a monastery or something like that. Yeah, there's an old, old uh, church yeah. down, down there, a little bit yes. down to the stream. Old Abbey. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, Mordlach is a space cider, definitely, but it's not the typical space cider. So that's why you call it the Beast of Dufftown, Mordlach. Yeah, but it's just stronger. Uh, yeah, more. that's a very uh, strange mm -hmm. thing because uh, Mordlach has. Uh, clo is close to a triple distillation. Mm -hmm. They mix the second run with the third run, and both runs are differently connected. A very complicated a, uh, scheme. Watch my uh, distillery uh, video, you will see close to everything there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so there is a, a high distillation of 2.81, just by calculation. And uh, on the other side, it's very, very intense. So three times distillation or close to three times distillation should be very clean alcohol, but it's really strong. And you said uh, this has to be to do with the warm tubs. Yes, uh, they're very traditional distillery and they have warm tubs. They just replaced or fixed or maintained warm tubs when I was there. And what they told me is that when you have a warm tub, then you don't have that much copper contact as in a normal condenser. And that's why you don't have these catalytic reactions going on that much. And that's why you have a lot of uh, spicy flavors that are still left in, the, um, in the, the whiskey in the end, in the raw spirit that goes into the cask. So that's one of the reasons why Mordlach is a bit more spicy, a bit more hefty and called the beast of Dovetown. There's a specialty in that whiskey. This is mm. a finished whiskey and it's finished <laughs> in ex bourbon casks. So first maturation is ex sherry casks and then a finish in ex bourbon casks. 
Mm. And this is our second dram now. And now the experiment cask is really smellable. There's mm -hmm. vanilla, there's caramel, and there is a light, well, spiciness together with a coolness, 46% ABV. Yeah, did I say something about the price? It's really high price for a 15 year old. It's uh, close to 150. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is ex the, expensive. The second smell is much different to the first one. The first one, you did have a bit of a nutty, nutmeg, uh, ginger kind of spiciness, and a lot of vanilla, a, lot, a bit of berries, um, sweetness in there. So it it smelled really gentle, with a, with a little bit of spiciness. And now, it's much more spe uh, gentle with yeah. more mm -hmm. caramel and vanilla, more of this uh, ex bourbon character coming through. Cheers. That's a beast. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> it's spicy. It's sharp. It's peppery. Wow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Wow. So I think they they had those ex sherry casks, European sherry casks, and then they said, "Oh, that's too much. <laughs> oh, we have to refill them in ex bourbon casks for smoothing them down." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. It's a it's a really spicy whiskey, and really really intense with pepper, with a bit of a chili touch on your tongue, with a lot of oak in it. Mm. A little bit of a leathery dark chocolate note now coming through and it's it's holds out quite strongly mm -hmm. so aftertaste is long a lot of oak yeah. mm. and then there's in the nose ah oh, sharp in the nose, a light fruitiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the the overall impact is strong, <laughs> sharp, massive. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. It's the beast of Dove Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can yeah. hide that that they are more Yeah. Mm -hmm. I re I do remember the other ones, the sixteen year old, the Wiwichi, and the twenty year old, much smoother. So this is mm -hmm. the original. Mm -hmm. Beast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you already have the, all the other bottles, then maybe you would have a look at this one. It's mm -hmm. the golden one in the end. Well, maybe it's not the end. Maybe yeah. they'll bring out another one. But I think they're running out of distilleries. No, oh, maybe five. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have some to enjoy during next year's. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe it's not the last one, but have a look at it. It's a, it's a, it's a rough one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.